Hello everyone, I'm Evren Aryurek. Welcome to Streaming Analytics on Google Cloud. When you look at IDC, they predict by 2025, more than a quarter of the data in the global data sphere will be real time in nature. Now, you may wonder why is this important? It is important because window of opportunity in the real time analysis diminishes and goes away really fast. You want to be able to actually respond to your customer needs, their asks, maybe do predict prediction, or maybe detect some problem and really respond to really fast. While each and every one of this data becomes valuable for retrospective analysis, time to respond in a real time is very limited. So you want to have a platform that you can achieve both of these, real time as well as a place where you can do retrospective analysis. And for that, you have streaming analytics on Google Cloud. And this is the platform many of you out there are already providing various solutions in your industries. You have Pops Up on one end, the Google native service that entire Alphabet company takes advantage of. We made it available through GCP for you to take advantage of as well. And you're doing a great job in there. That is your ingestion and distribution of data reliably globally. And you have data flow for you, all your data processing, whether it's streaming or batch. Now you can do that. And as you know, in data flow, it's the same set of code for both streaming and batch. And then you have the AI platform, BigQuery, Bigtable, Cloud SQL, all of them are there for your machine learning needs, for your AI needs and data warehousing needs to do more analysis for your businesses. Here are some examples, the great success stories. Home Depot, when they started their journey on the digital transformation, when they wanted to establish this e-commerce platform for themselves, they picked pops up Dataflow and BigQuery to do this thing. And this allowed them to really increase new revenue opportunities and reduce their churn. When you look at Palo Alto Networks, they're building their next generation firewall using Dataflow as an embedded data processing system. Air Asia used the streaming analytics platform to provide refined pricing for their customers. This allowed them to increase their revenue and improve customer satisfaction and customer experience. Alta Beauty has established their uh, e-commerce platform where they can actually provide real-time offers to their users and suggestions based on their shopping practices and search practices and so forth, again, using this real-time analytics platform for their uh, shoppers. Now, in this platform, in your own organizations, you have some heroes out there, your data analysts, your engineers, your data scientists, and your operators are out there making this work for your systems, for your customers. And throughout my conversation today with you, I will be highlighting what we're doing to make their lives easier, more effective, and also bring some cost-saving opportunities for all of you out there. Here's a snapshot of what you're going to hear for the rest of my talk. You will hear data flow SQL. We're actually really happy all the feedback that we've gotten from you on the early releases. You're loving this thing. It made it much easier for your analysts and engineers. You're really enjoying the AI platform integration with data flow. And Jupyter Notebooks was one of those things that data scientists really, really asked for it. And here you go. You have an integrated, a seamless experience from many of our services on Google Cloud, including Dataflow. And operators have asked for some dashboards, some real-time analysis capabilities, and a lot more in here. We're going to go into it. Ready? Let's go. Let's start with the ingestion first. I mentioned Pops Up is one of those services that we across Alphabet leverage, and we made it available. It's a globally scalable, fantastic technology. Really, really good. We did hear loud and clear from all of you that you wanted message ordering and dead other topics. And thank you for your patience. Now they're going to be available for you. We also heard some cost saving opportunities where you've asked for a service like Top Sublight. I'm going to go into it a little bit more. And it gives you cost optimized event ingestion and data messaging platform for your zonal needs, where it's global nature may not be necessary for you. So we created in here. Our objective was to make it so compelling, even for your do-it-yourself Kafka solutions that 
you may have is going to be higher cost than what we can provide to you. And of course, through our Confluence Cloud partnership, we have a fully managed Kafka service for all your on-prem to cloud migration needs. And CDC was one of those capabilities that you've been asking for. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples of what is coming up for you. Here's a pop supplies. So this is possibly the lowest cost to serve possible uh, messaging and event messaging system that you can find in here. It's ideal for predictable workloads. It's zonal so that you can actually figure out where to do it. It's really easy to uh, configure and already seamlessly integrated with Dataflow, rest of Google Cloud Data Analytics Platform and GCP services. So give it a try if you haven't used it. We believe it will be much easier for you to really take advantage of Pop Sublight than do it yourself Kafka like environment that you may have. If you have a lot of uh, Kafka workloads and you are migrating to Google Cloud, you are using or you should be using Confluent Cloud. We've seamlessly integrated with our partners. They're integrated just like PopSup with Dataflow and our, our other uh, GCP services for you to achieve your Kafka workloads and as you are migrating towards GCP. And CDC, this was your ask. And here's a two option for you that we're actually uh, providing you. And for your MySQL and Postgres uh, use cases, we're building a solution with Divisium. It's available as an open source self-managed template. As a fully managed template uh, solution from ourselves, we're bringing you through our data stream. You will have a CDC capability for Oracle databases through data stream, through data flow, to BigQuery. You'll be able to provide this CDC capability. This has been one of those asks, and we're happy to show you what's coming up for you. For our data engineers and some, pipeline development, that's key. I highlighted the data flow SQL. It's for you to really take advantage of SQL. It's the same. Uh, dialect that we have with uh, our BigQuery and Spanner, you'll be able to do kind of join between the pop sub streams and BigQuery tables and GCS files and so forth. You'll do some schema supports using the visual editor. It's right there for you. The early responses was very, very positive. If you haven't started using it, I encourage you to really take a look at it. You'll be able to build your real-time dashboards based on BigQuery, do your transforms. It's right there, very easy. Go at it if you haven't started using it. Data scientists have been asking for this Jupyter Notebook integration with Dataflow so that you can actually do your own interactive development, uh, prototyping in the environment that you're so used to it. Now Dataflow is integrated into J Jupyter Notebooks. Go ahead and do it. You have the interactive runners there, all the support that you need for your AI platform on Google Cloud. It's the same experience. So this was something you've been asking for. I'm really happy to announce that it is in your hands. Now, this is a good one. Flex templates, as you know, we provide 25 different templates through our Dataflow UI and CLI for you to take advantage of as a template. One of the asks that many of you had was, hey, I built these Dataflow pipelines into my system, but I want to turn this into a template so rest of my organization can use it as well within my own team, within my own organization. Now you can do that. This was something that you asked for. It's a much better uh, system and you're used to it. You create it. It's all yours along with the 25 that we provided. Quick recommendations. This is, this is a, it's a really interesting uh, capability. So it actually provides you guidances for your data analysts, data engineers, data scientists, and it achieves some cost saving along the way where you can actually get some recommendations. Hey, do it this way and do it that way. Maybe clean your data store databases or extra entities, find different ways to uh, really store it and backup and restore spanner, what have you. It provides you through these recommendations, ways to really improve it. What is it that you can do? And this is all in the fingertips of yours. Performance is scale. This is always a paramount for us. This is always top of mind. We always figure out a way to make it faster, easier, and scale even bigger and broader. Here's one, FlexRS. If you haven't heard, this is a fantastic cost-saving opportunity for you. You could save up to 40% of your cost in some of your batch workers. 
if you have a job that you run daily or weekly, you don't have to worry about changing a single line of code. All you have to do is turn it on, add one pipeline option, that's it. But remember, this needs to be one of those jobs that you run daily or weekly because it might take a few hours to find the most cost optimum environment for it to run. So that's why it says in here, it may delay up to six hours. Here's what we have done for the Beam community. The Dataflow Runner V2 is available. It has a lot more uh, uh, capabilities in there from more IOs, including Kafka IO and so forth, to parity across SDKs, some including the state and timer support in Python. It's available right now for you to test with your Python streaming pipelines. Go at it and try it. You will find some cost-saving opportunities there. All of you data engineers out there, and thank you for really taking advantage of the Beam. And our operators, for you, you've been asking this dashboard. Now, all your important pipeline metrics in a single time-correlated dashboard is ready. It's available for you. You'll be able to go deep dive into it, understand how we're making some of these auto-scaling decisions. That was some somewhat of a mystery for all of you, and you've been asking for it, so we're providing some of these visibilities and achieve some cost uh, reductions as well. So you can optimize your own pipelines, latencies, and throughputs that you're going at it. And these are all in your fingertips. And keep asking, keep pushing us in this area. Manage pipelines. This is another one that you've been asking. Now you'll be able to understand the resource allocations over multiple job executions that you may have. And this actually enables you to really give you better freshness on the SLAs and SLOs and so forth. Drill down on your pipelines. Maybe figure out some uh, problems that you may be seeing it there and fix it and optimize it. It's much easier for you to do it. We're going to continue to invest in here. Ease of use paramount for us. We really, really uh, want to make it easier for you. Now, real-time AI. As an AI student, I'm always excited about what we're doing in here. So we've been working with uh, our with our partners across the uh, 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 ecosystem and trying to figure out what is it that we can do and how is it that we can actually create some patterns and create some uh, kind of easy to start templates and sample codes and so forth uh, by integrating Dataflow and Cloud AI platform for pattern recognition, anomaly detection, some predictions and forecasting and so forth for every industry you can think of from media to retail, to healthcare, to fintech, you name it. There's some great capabilities out there. You can use structured and unstructured data for your pattern uh, recognition. You can use it with your videos, you can use it with images and text and so forth. Now, here's an example from TELUS. A great team uh, in Canada, they're one of the largest and fastest growing telecom companies, and they have many, many events coming in, and they wanted to actually use data flow to detect some anomalies in their network. So we're looking at 250,000 events per second that they process and they figure out are there any anomalies that we need to be really looking at it and detect it in a timely manner and respond to it. This is one of those use cases where you really need to detect fast and respond fast. And Telus team has done a fantastic job taking advantage of this platform, these capabilities that we provided with Dataflow. And there's a lot more to do there. You can do it in every industry. If you visit our website, you will see a lot more in there and the codes are ready for you to take advantage of from GitHub. Let's wrap it up together. We are the leader in streaming analytics when you look at Forrester's uh, streaming wave. There are a lot of things that makes us the leader in this area. There are five criteria that we've been rated the highest in here. Many of you are already taking advantage of these uh, capabilities and we invite all of you to come, take a look at it, visit, ping us, chat with us. There is a way we can help you with all your needs in here. Here's a list of you out there doing wonderful things in everywhere in the world, from retail to transportation, from healthcare to gaming to media to fintech. All of you have built great solutions on these uh, technologies that I just spoke about. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you for all your use cases and challenging us and working with us. We're looking forward to really hearing more of your feedback. We're here to really work with you. Here's a wrap up for you. We talked about what we've done for data analysts, 
data engineers, data scientists, and operators. There's a lot more out there if you go and visit our streaming analytics uh, website in Google Cloud. You will find many blogs, many links to the uh, code repositories and so forth to really make it easy. If you still have a problem, ping us, ping me, find me, and wherever you can, just uh, we'll get you going right away. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it and hope you had a wonderful time.